He's not going anywhere. Why don't we just hold on to him and try to negotiate? Y you know, like a hostage. And how are we supposed to do that? We can't understand what the hell they're saying. I don't know. But maybe we should... There must be something. No sense discussing it now. You can pat yourself on the back when you've blown up all the generators, not just one of them. Fine. If I see any aliens, I'll say hello for you. Suit yourself. You blew up. Hey, you're doing great. Only two more generators and we can move on. Just hang in there. I know this is rough. Hmm. Sounds like I may be of some use in there. If there are other people in stasis, I could help revive them or something. Just watch my back. Well, it was getting dark. We'd spent the day out in the trenches, keeping as many of the guys alive as we could. Chinese had been pounding on us all day with artillery from these huge guns they had up on the mountains. It was really a mess. Anyway, we pitched our tents and stowed our gear to try and catch some shut-eye. I woke up suddenly, Private Dawkins screaming. He was bathed in some kind of blue light coming from the sky. All of us just froze as he just... Well, vanished. We didn't know what happened. Did the Chinese come up with some new weapon? Moments later, all of us were in the blue light too. The rest, you know. He looks like a Japanese samurai. Guess the aliens must have plucked him from Earth a long time ago. I can't understand a word he's saying. Or maybe, just maybe, they're responsible for life on Earth. Like, they seeded the planet a really long time ago. And they've been coming back every once in a while to check on the progress. And now they've decided they don't like how it turned out. Can you imagine? They made us, and now they're pissed at us! Me? Well, I was a medic with the 108th Infantry Battalion stationed at Anchorage, Alaska. I was with a squad of five other medics. Our job was to patch everyone up after the commies gunned them down. It was pretty bloody. Nothing at all like I expected when I gave up my hospital job to enlist in the Army. Sure, just watch my back, and I'll watch yours. What are the generators? We might actually get out of here!
Eugene, you sick fuck? Oh, no, no way!
that some kind of operating room? Wait a minute. What the? No. No! That's my squad in there. What the hell are the aliens doing to them? You green bastards, get your hands off them! How do you like that, you fucks? How does it feel to be on the other end for a change? Experiment on this, you sons of bitches! Hey there, what'd you need? I'm not sure. Some of this stuff looks way more advanced than anything I've ever seen. Let's keep an eye out for any kind of materials or equipment I might be able to adapt for humans. Isn't it obvious? They're probably using us as guinea pigs, examining our anatomy. Once they've figured out how to make exact copies of us, they'll send those copies back down to Earth to take our places. When they've copied enough of us, they'll turn on us and take over the world. Come on, how can you not see that coming? Okay, tell me if you need medical assistance. Oh my God, no. I can't believe they did this to you. Why wasn't I here sooner? I could have stopped them. That's it. I'm sick. That's it. I'm sick of running. Let's finish these aliens off and get the hell home. Private Lawrence Mears, U.S. Army Medic, serial number 3476511. Private Lawrence Mears, U.S. Army Medic, Serial number three four seven six five one one. I think I think I. But you could do whatever you want to me. I'm not Satan, Jack. Stick it where the sun don't shine. I don't You don't like oh, I, I. oh my shit! Private Lawrence. U.S. Army Medic. I think that's some more of my squad. It's Daniels and Beckett. There's got to be a way to revive them with their memories intact, so they won't attack us on sight. I think I may be able to use this medical equipment to bring them out of stasis properly. The aliens have already injected them with all sorts of compounds I don't recognize. I don't know how it will affect them when they awaken. I don't know what to do. These guys are the last of my squad. They're my friends. If I revive them, maybe they could help us. I'm not sure they'll last very long, but if we leave them... You saw what the aliens did to the others! I don't know for certain. I can get them on their feet and moving for maybe a few minutes at best. There's no way for me to tell what the aliens have already subjected them to. I can't understand these readouts. Their pain could be horrible. This technology is out of my league, so I'm just going to have to improvise. It's the best I can do.
I'm really not sure what's best for them. What did you decide? Just remember, they won't be alive long, so we need to keep moving as fast as we can. I'm going to need to watch their vitals carefully as I use the medical console to pump them full of the correct fluids and bring them back. When I give the signal, you open the tubes with that switch. Don't open them until I tell you, or the results could be unpredictable. Okay, let's see. This must initiate the thawing process. Okay. Blood pressure looks normal. Heart rate, normal enough. Oh, I hope to God this works. Open the tubes. If I did everything right, they'll still be alive. All right, squad, listen up. I know you have no idea what's going on, but you just have to trust me. We were captured by the aliens. What happened to us? The they grabbed us from Anchorage. And now we're free. Here, take these weapons and follow me. Let's show them what some motivated U.S. soldiers can do. On me, squad. Let's go! Okay, let's put these guys to use. Wait just a second. Let me take some of this cryogenic compound back to the engine core. I might be able to make some use of it. Oh, hey, what's up? I think when we opened the door to the operating room, we set off some kind of containment alarm. The room seals itself up, and it looks like it's being flooded with some sort of decontamination gases. Pretty high-tech stuff. Unless I miss my guess, it will cycle itself and unlock the doors in a little bit. We'll just have to wait it out. Not sure. We'll just have to wait for the system to cycle. Maybe they're going to take over the whole planet. Like, maybe they've been coming here for hundreds, no, thousands of years, waiting to hit us when we're not expecting it. And then they wipe us out and strip the planet of all its resources. I bet that's it. Okay, tell me if you need medical assistance. Feels like someone's twisted my insides into a knot. Oh man, I wish I had something for the pain.
some cover. 